Hi everyone, this is Grace and I'm back today to do another review. Um, the last review I did, I kind of did a face mask um, that I picked up in Taiwan. It was my beauty diary. And it's a little hard to get here, so I didn't think it made too much sense to do a face mask review if you guys can't get a hold of products. So I decided to do a face mask um, from America and that you guys can easily get to, and it's from Lush. Okay, so a little bit about the Lush um, face mask. They come in these little cases, and this is about 2.5 ounces, and these have these little stickers on the back of them, and it tells you who made it, uh, when they made it, and when it's expired. It's usually about a two-week um, period for these, and you have to refrigerate these. And my Lush brings them once a week on Thursday, so I'm always there either on a Thursday night or Friday to pick them up because I want it as fresh as I can so I can make it you know, last for two weeks. And I do use this about every other day. So it, it a little bit goes a really long way. And you would just leave it on for five to 10 minutes and then you wash it off. I do wash it off with a washcloth. So it helps the, um, you know, the products come off easier. And I really like them. They're made with really good fresh ingredients and they're very high quality. Each of these run about, I believe, six to seven dollars. So it's really um, affordable. And if you bring in five face mask containers like this, you get a free um, face mask. So that's kind of cool that they recycle and they take in consideration. So I'm just going to kind of go through really quickly what each of these are and what types of skin um, are good for each one of them. They have a variety of different ones. Okay, so I'm kind of going to do this in the order of how much I like them and which one. Um, my favorite one is Odie Fix. And this one is amazing for dry skin. And if you've ever heard me in my other videos that my main complaint is that I have such dry skin. And Odie Fix is made from bananas and oats and it just leaves your skin so hydrated and so smooth afterwards. I don't have any in the actual bin because I've used it all, but it smells delicious. Like you just want to take a spoon and just kind of want to eat it. And Anyway, so Odie Fix is by far the best for dry skin, and it's it's my favorite. My second favorite is a crash course in skincare, and this one is made from avocado and um, lemon juice and yogurt. So basically, it's a it's it's like a moisturizing one, but it's just a clarifying and brightening one, kind of just all in one, and it smells amazing too. It smells like fresh um like a like a jamba juice or something and it smells really good when you put it on it's a really um fresh feeling it's really a smooth texture so this one's great for every day for all skin types dry normal oily this one's just a great all-around one and i'm not sure if this is still available the last time i went to lush they do not have this anymore so I don't know if it's like a temporary thing, but hopefully it comes back because that's my second favorite. So my third favorite mask from Lush is the Love Lettuce, and it looks like this. And this one is good for all sorts of skin. It's basically an exfoliator, and it has these almond shells in there that is exfoliagent. Um, that really is gentle, but kind of rough when you need them to, so it's like a very perfect balance, and it gives um, oily skin, a soft and smooth and radiant glow, which I have dry skin, I use it, and it doesn't dry me out. So it's filled with rich oils such as lavender and um, it's called another oil called Fuller's Earth. I've never heard of that, but and there's also almond oil and seaweed gel in here. So basically, lots of moisturizing agents along with an exfoliator. So this one's amazing, and I love this one. Um, my next favorite is Cupcake, and this one 
is pretty amazing for oily skin. Um, I've tried this once and I shouldn't have because I've dry skin and this just sucked me dry. This looks like this. And basically it's made out of cocoa um, powder and peppermint and spearmint and everything that makes your skin calm and sucks off the joy of sucks off the excess oil and um, my friend who has oily skin has tried this and she just absolutely loves it she says it really helps reduce oils throughout the day from if she used the night before so and it really smells like chocolate like I really don't have what's inside but it's like a big chocolate pudding it just smells delicious all of these like Lush face mask, you can you just feel like you can eat with a spoon, which is a great sign, I think. Um, my next favorite is the Sacred Truth, and this one is an anti-ager, and it's made with wheatgrass, ginseng, green tea, papaya, and I've used this. It kind of has a funky smell. It smells very herbally, which um, is fine. I don't have a problem with that, but. I really didn't find it very, um, re like, protecting me from aging or anything. It didn't re reduce any fine lines, and it didn't, you know, tighten anything, but it did make my skin very soft. So, um, yeah, I don't think this is a great one for anti-aging. So the next two masks I'm going to kind of lump together. It's the BB Seaweed and Aisha. And both of these are supposed to be for anti-aging and tightening. The BB Seaweed says that it is, of course, made with seaweed, um, antiseptic honey, calming aloe vera, and so this one is to really basically clean and moisturize and clarify your skin. Um, I don't know, I didn't really like this one because I found that it didn't really do anything for my skin. It didn't make it soft. It didn't make it anti-wrinkly or anything like that. It just was, it didn't even make it moisturizing. Um, maybe because I'm so used to the OD Fix moisture one that, you know, when compared to this one, it's just kind of not enough. I don't know, but the OD Fix one for me is great for moisturizing and this one, not so much and I was kind of disappointed because I know seaweed is one of the best things for your skin so um didn't really see anything with this the Aisha is made out of um tightening clays and asparagus and kiwi fruit and hazel witch hazel and it didn't tighten my skin at all um the sales lady over at Lush told me that when she used it, she could barely smile because her skin was so tight. So when I heard that, I was really excited and I bought it and nothing. And not only that, it has this really weird smell to it that I can't really describe. Um, it's not herbly. It's, I, I don't know, I didn't like it. This didn't do anything for me, so... Maybe if you're 18, 19, 20, when your skin is still kind of new and fresh, it works, but it didn't really work for me. Okay, so the next um, two I'm going to lump together also, and this one is the Cosmetic Warrior and Catastrophe Cosmetic. And these kind of have to gear towards makeup. Um, so the Cosmetic Warrior, it says it combats um, spots, cleanses dirt and calms and soothes all troubled skin. It's made out of antiseptic garlic and tea tree oil and it's made out from fresh grapes and honey and eggs. Um, I use this and I didn't, use, I didn't notice any cleansing of my skin. My skin didn't feel any better or cleaner. Um, the one that I did feel like it was cleaner and better was a crash course in um, skin care, which is this one, my second favorite. Um, the Cosmetic Warrior just kind of smelled a little weird, actually, because of the garlic. So I kind of didn't like this one. It didn't really do much. And same thing with Catastrophe um, Cosmetic. It says, when disaster looms, um, 
it calms and cleanses the skin and it's made with antioxidants such as blueberries and vitamins and minerals to in reduce inflammation so I tried this really hoping that after like a long night of partying that if I put this on then my face would be like rejuvenated because when you go out you wear so much makeup and I was hoping this would do something to rescue my skin afterwards and it didn't unfortunately but it did smell good because of the blueberries and all that stuff in there but it just didn't do anything it just kind of sat there so I'm not sure if I suggest this to people and then we have the brazen honey which looks like this and this one is probably my least favorite face mask from Lush and this one is very powerful in um, detoxifying and clarifying and you would think yeah that's great that's exactly what I'm looking for but it's so strong that when you use this this has a very powerful exfoliator in here let me see what it is it's ground almonds and let's see it has these herbs and spices with these acidic fruit juice juices that um, warms when you put on your face so this is so powerful that I've heard it from more than one person that when you use it um, right afterwards you feel really good with your skin but it just goes so deep in the cleansing it brings up all this dirt and it breaks you out actually every time I've tried this I've broken out and I usually don't break out because I don't have oily skin but when I use this I break out the next day so I've given this three tries because I wanted I like the powerful exfoliating and cleaning agents in here but this is too powerful me. too powerful for me so if you have one of those skins that can take it it's great it actually smells pretty clean actually and if it didn't break me out I, I would love it but for an exfoliating agent the love lettuce is so much more soothing and calming than this one so I don't know I don't suggest this one unless you have really tough skin um, and my very last one today is called Santa's rice porridge and this one is seasonal this only comes around during like their holiday Thanksgiving Christmas time and it's made with um, you know peppermint and all this like Christmas candy smelling things it smells terrific you just want to eat it also and I just want to say that this is my one of my favorites if they had this all year long I would get this with the Odie fix that one's my favorite um, with this all the time this one is so soothing and it feels great on your face because of the peppermint and it's very moisturizing and very calming and the smell just makes you obviously feel like it's Christmas so you're really happy when you're using it so that's that's Santa's rice porridge and it's only around during holiday season so that's all of the face masks that Lush has if you have any questions feel free to ask me I actually used to work at Lush so that's why I have so much of their stuff and I know so much about their face masks and again if you have five of those um, containers you can return them and you get a free face mask and leave me a message if you have any questions thank you for watching and remember to subscribe thank you bye